Hey YouTube, welcome to this post-workout stretch. This is the perfect one to do whilst you're still in the gym and you've just finished your training. But if you feel sore tomorrow, I have two sessions specific for DOM. So if you get DOMS tomorrow, check out the links below to check out those classes. And today we're gonna start in a wide-legged child's pose. So come on down, big toes together. Take your knees out as wide as you can comfortably. As you walk your hands forwards, let your head drop down to the mat. If your head doesn't reach the mat, you can use your hands as a little pillow here. Take a few really big, deep breaths. Expand the belly, expand the upper back. And a big sigh. Good, breathing in deeply. And exhaling. One more breathing in. And letting go. Taking a moment to center ourselves. Wonderful. From here, let's walk the hands forwards. Come up onto your fingertips and breathe really deeply here, right up underneath your armpits towards your lats and your waist. Good, and then as you inhale, plant your palms down, come forwards to an all fours position. N knees underneath the hips this time. Just a couple of rounds of cat-cow. Inhale, drop your belly, look up. And as you exhale, press the floor away. Look towards your toes. Inhale. Dropping the belly, stretching that front side. Exhale, push the shoulder blades apart. Head drops down. Good, inhale to a neutral spine. Let's step our right foot on the outside of our right hand. And from here, just begin to shift the hips forwards and back. So just feeling into that stretch before we hold anything. Good, and then as you shift your hips forwards, take a little rock from side to side. Lovely, planting your left hand down, sink the hips forwards, bring your right hand to your right knee or your right thigh, press into it and come into a twist. Hmm. See if you can send your breath all the way to the front of your left hip. Good, deep breath in. Exhale, release your hands down, come back to all fours, opposite side. Step your left foot on the outside of your left hand, shifting forwards and back. So a little more of a dynamic stretch to cool down. Wonderful, and then sinking your hips forwards, just take a little movement side to side. Good, keep your right hand planted, bring your left hand to your left knee or your left thigh, breath in, and then as you exhale, press into that knee, twist. Good, deep breath in, exhale, releasing the hand down, step back to all fours, tuck your toes and then sending the hips back and up into downward facing dog. So from here, drop one heel as you bend the opposite knee and switch, pedaling out through the feet. So you feel that lovely stretch in your calves and in your hamstrings. Very good, nice. And then see if you can ground both heels down towards the floor, but send your tailbone really high. Imagine you were hooking it onto the ceiling. Let your head drop down, beautiful. Now take your feet as wide as your mat, toes pointing forwards, 
and then shift the hips from side to side so you feel a little bit of an inner thigh stretch here. Wonderful, good. From here, turn your heels in and your toes out. Bend the knees slowly as you walk your hands back and we're gonna come into a deep squat. Take that transition really slow. Good, if your heels lift off, don't worry. And if you feel more stable with your fingertips on the mat, keep them there. Otherwise, maybe the hands come towards the chest. Press the palms together and you wanna push your elbows onto your inner knee to help open up the hips. Proud, tall chest. Good, breathing in. Exhale, release your hands down behind you and separate your feet like so. Hands behind, breathing in. Exhale, swipe the knees to one side. Inhale. Exhale, opposite side. So take that in your own rhythm. And exaggerate this as much or as little as you want. So if you really want to like push your hip and feel that lovely stretch on this side, go for it. Or if you feel like you needed something a little more subtle, just a drop of the knee side to side, that's okay too. If you fancy a little more mobility work, I will leave a few links down below that I think will partner well with your gym workouts. Lovely, good. Bring the knees through centre and then we're going to drop them over to one side and we want to find 90-90. So you want a 90 degree angle here and a 90 degree angle here and then turn towards your front leg. Big breath, keep your spine nice and tall as you exhale, gently fold and lean into it. So keep lots of lovely length in the spine here. Good, slowly coming up. We're gonna transition to the opposite side. Be particular with the 90 degree angles. Turn, you feel a stretch kind of here. Breathe, lengthen. And then exhale, fold. Don't let your ego take over and like get you kind of kissing the floor. <laughs> Keep the waist nice and long. Get one more breath on this side. Exhale. And then come up, come through centre. This time we're going to bring the soles of the feet together. Bring your heels in so um, you feel the stretch through the hip, but it's not aggravating your knees. Breathe, sit tall. And then as you exhale, begin to tip forwards. Now relax your hands. Try not to pull yourself or bounce in the stretch. See if you can relax your shoulders. And allow the weight of your head to, to do the most work here. Good, as you inhale, slowly come back up. Close up the knees, bring your hands behind, stretch out the legs, take a little roll of the ankles, shimmy of the hips, whatever feels good here. Good, and then we're gonna come down onto our back. So come on down. When you arrive, hug your right knee in towards the chest and lengthen out the left leg nice and long. Now really hug that right knee in. For some of us, we hug it in towards the chest or it might feel better for some of us to hug more towards the armpit. Good, and then taking a twist, guiding the right knee over to the left, opening out through the right shoulder, right palm faces up. Good, 
inhale, bring that knee through center and switch, hug that left knee in, stretch the right leg long. Nice big squeeze. See if you can begin to stretch out your exhalations here as well. So nice, slow exhalation. It's going to calm your nervous system and help your body cool down and recover. And then that, take that twist, guiding the knee across the body. Left palm faces up. See if you can relax your left shoulder back as much as you possibly can. Good, as you inhale, bring that knee through center, hug both knees in towards the chest, hands onto the knees, and just take a little circular motion with the knees to massage your back. Circle the other way. Lovely, now I would recommend maybe taking a guided relaxation to end this practice off nicely. Otherwise, if you're in quite a loud gym, you can save that for home. We're going to rock and roll to seated. Sit up nice and tall. Take a nice big breath in. Lift out of your waistline. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Thank you so, so much for joining me for this stretch today. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next practice very soon. Bye.